First of all, we are open mind people. I want to highlight the weather. And they call Gran Canaria mini continent. Yeah, Everything. so many microclimates, yes. different landscapes. <laughs> this is Mas Palomas. Welcome back to the channel guys. We are uh, here in Las Paz Palomas near the Rio Hotel and we're gonna go check out the famous dunes and the lighthouse and I want to give you guys a little view or a little walk around of this city of Las Palomas, this area, these uh, phenomenal sand dunes. Give you guys a little escape from the cold parts of Northern Europe. So hello to all my followers from Northern Europe. I know you guys are watching, so join us on a walking tour of Las Mas Palomas. All right, you guys, this is like a out of this world scene. And I told you guys I would come here yesterday before we went on that hike like madmen into the desert. Wow, check it out. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Woo! This is crazy! It's like the Sahara Desert! So I almost lost my camera guys, but a nice German couple said, hey, is this yours? So save the day because I've got so many files on this uh, SD card here. But one last look at the dunes. And let's head into the city. Hello, hola. ¿Qué tal? Soy Canarios. A mí me encanta tu tierrita. Está buenísimo, buenísimo, super guapo. ¿Cómo se llaman? Bruno y Paula. Bruno y Paula, sí. de Gran Canaria. Sí. De la Más Paloma. De, no, yo soy de Tenerife. Tenerife. Sí. De la capital. Ah, vale, de, la, de Las Palmas. Sí. Qué chulo, estuve, me encanta, me encanta. Ayer comí ropa vieja. Ah, Ahora busco este el típico sancocho. Ah, vale, okay. Y otras cosillas. <laughs> bueno. Chao. As you see, guys, very nice people in the Canary Islands. He was from Tenerife. She was from Las Palmas, which you guys already saw those videos from Las Palmas. I got so much sand in my shoes. I could probably make a whole new Miami Beach. Jesus. You guys, the dunes are just never ending because they kind of just fix themselves on a daily basis. I, you can see new dunes being created every hour, every hour. Hola. Holland. Holland, do you guys like to come here on holiday? Yes. It's nice? Is it your favorite place in Europe? Yes. Really? Do you live here? We are living in, uh, we are living uh, not in uh, Spain, uh, but in, in, in Holland. In Holland, but yes. mm, okay, so just vacation. Yes. Just vacation. All right. Well, you guys have a nice day. Thanks for you saying too. hi. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, they were from Holland, and as I said, Northern Europeans flock to this place. So we're gonna go check out the city next and show you guys where everybody eats, the hotels, and talk a little bit about the city. Maybe we meet some more people. Basically, tourism's in full, full swing now. And here we have uh, Rio Hotel. I think it's one of, one of the nicer resorts here. But I mean, I didn't film inside the city, you guys, but it's just hotel after hotel after hotel. It's just, yeah, absolutely loaded with hotels and pools and tons of just tourists out sunbathing. I mean, here we got another resort here with, with a pool and beautiful palm trees, but it makes sense because the Costa del Sol, you guys, where I live in Malaga, well, um, it gets a bit colder actually in winter, you know? Here, we're in the mid 20s, I think. It's very, very nice weather here. Obviously tons of sun. Now, if you were to go to the northern part of the island where the airport is, the capital, Las Palmas, you have fresh and cool temperatures there. A lot of cloud cover, some more wind, and it even rains quite frequently. But of course, that side of the island, you can find more green landscape. And here's, you know, once you get into the mountain, like you saw on the last video, you guys, just absolutely desolate. So historically speaking, you guys, the Canary Islands, well, they weren't a place for tourists so much 
before around the 1950s, 1960s when Franco, well, he started to uh, invest in tourism and so they finally developed tourism in a place like this. So this is a relatively new city. As such, many people from the Canary Islands, well, it was hard, a hard life here. People often immigrated to the Americas. Centuries ago, they went to Cuba, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, Panama, Veracruz, Mexico, Colombia, Venezuela, Uruguay. Hello. 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 Where are you guys from? Uh, Spain. Ah, uh, Españoles. Sí. Oh, otros gallegos. Gallego. He conocido un montón de gallegos este viaje. Ah, sí. Estamos de paseo todos aquí, sí. escapando del frío. Porque ahí hace pelete, como se dice aquí. Hace, hace pelete en Galicia. <laughs> Efectivamente, mucho yeah. pelete. Mucho All right. Pelete. Have a nice trip, you guys. Igual, Wear tú. some crema solar, por favor. Por favor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mira. Giri, giri. Giri total. O sea, algunas cosas nunca cambian. <laughs> <laughs> Adiós. Very friendly uh, Galicians, you guys, from Northwest Spain. I have videos from there this summer in La Coruña, and even Northern Spaniards or Peninsulares, they come on vacation here because, well, it's a bit cold in the peninsula, as I mentioned, even in the Costa del Sol. The Costa del Sol, of course, has a lot of sun, but people are wearing jackets in the Costa del Sol, scarves, hats. Not here, though. Look at everybody dressed in shorts. I want to give a shout out to Colin from up in Ireland at West Cork Beard Company. Now this stuff is beard oil that's perfect for travel. Look at the size you guys. And it's perfect for a place like here in the Canary Islands where it's really dry. Your skin does get dry and you want to keep your beard moisturized. And so the dunes you guys of Mas Palomas turn into Playa de Inglés or the English beach. Interesting name because there I'm sure is a lot of English tourists that come here. Alright so we've got some local Canary Islanders here. These guys are from Gran Canaria, so yeah. de Gran Canaria, ¿verdad? Sí, somos de, la, de Las Palmas, we're from Las Palmas. From Las Palmas what, city. what do you want people from around the world to know about Las Mas Palomas and the island of Gran Canaria? First of all, we are open mind people, so uh, there are many people from everywhere coming here and we we're glad that to receive all these people, any culture, any language, you know? I want to highlight the weather in that it's major um, active beaches as you can see you can see the dunes over there um, you don't see this everywhere what safety time? from being in europe and we have very good weather all year we are now on the first of march of no march yeah second of second of march second of march no, third of march third, third of march, of march. Sorry. and there? look the sun we are having here we yes are, it's we beautiful t-shirt and so sun yeah it's a very nice It's walk. like you live here in a holiday constantly. Yeah. We're from the north and every time we come here, ah, it's like okay. we're in a different place. And also the good thing is that on winter we don't have high, a, a low low temperature, temperature. And, on, and on summer we don't have yeah. so high. high. So you have so a, a nice temperature all year round. Year. Whereas in the peninsula in Andalusia, it's so hot. It's yeah, it's not totally fit. different. Yeah. On summer you have very high temperature and on winter, winter yeah. it's cold. Hace pelete. Yeah, also. <laughs> Food. Food here? We oh, love yeah, food. For sure. Okay. No, we are an island, we have many types of fish. Uh, we have good local food. Local food. Uh, what is a dish that every person that comes here should try? For example, I did papas arrugadas ayer yeah, and I did sure. ropa vieja. But what about sancocho? You know, it's, uh, it's also depending on the, on the type of the place of the island you are, you also have different type of food because if you are more in a coast place, you will have more type of fish. Okay. And if you are more in the center, maybe it's... Hot, hotter. Uh, yeah, dishes, uh, like, okay. Like, uh, Guisos. Yeah. yeah. But not, not only we have beach, because the island is like a big mountain. So in the center of the island, it's like uh, quite high, you know? So yeah. It's, there is a little bit colder. Perfect. So you also have uh, nice valleys with many trees, palm trees. We have palm trees of all course. around the, yes. the island. They call Gran Canaria a mini continent. Yeah, yeah. So many there. microclimates. Yes. Different landscapes. So, uh, what's your guys' names? My name is Pablo. She's Marina. Marina, Marina from Gran Canaria. From Thank Las Palmas, yeah. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. Anyone who wants to come, we wait you here. Eso es la zona de Guiris. Sí. Sí. All right, you guys. So now we're along the beach here. All right, let's check out some prices. Sorry. Right. Let's check out some prices and some Guiri zone. So next to Playa de Inglés, and we just have a walkway with just foreign tourists everywhere hi and everybody's out enjoying their lives and the guy comes play guitar and this is where everybody comes all the english all the northern europeans
Wow, I've seen more um, tourists here than I've seen in Malaga since I've moved to Malaga. So even in a highly sought after tourist destination, well, <laughs> um, prices aren't going to actually be that expensive for you here. A pint of beer is around three euros, maybe a bottle of beer is a little bit less, even right here next to the beach where things are usually a little more expensive. And so obviously you can imagine that one of the reasons it's popular for Northern Europeans to come here is because the prices are much cheaper than where they're from. Here we go. We got a meal here for $6.95, $5.95, hamburger for $4.10. Very, very affordable. So yeah, you guys, right along this Playa de Ingles, English beach, you have tons of places to eat. Not that much uh, authentic food, local food, like you would find maybe in a, a town outside the center, but here we got the beach, you guys, and it's a nice white sand beach. Check it out. Because later I've got to catch a bus inland to continue my travels here on the island. Man, this is truly a paradise uh, here. No doubt about it. And the waves here are quite, quite big, you guys. So the last time I was uh, filming at a beach here, you guys, was last July or August in Northern Spain. And I did one video on the beach in Malaga in late July when it's really hot there. And here it seems like the beach is a year round thing. And again, the white sand here is perfect. The sand in the north part of the island is more rocky, volcanic, black sand, which don't get me wrong, is interesting, it's beautiful, but nothing like a beautiful white sand beach here. All this area is just a huge party, a big place where people come together. We have the Cuban music, the Cuban musicians over there, the line of bars, restaurants. It is a great place to come on vacation or live, you guys. I mean, look at all the action, you know? We haven't seen this in a long time in Spain. The last few years, you guys, have just been, just been not what Spain was, but it really feels like uh, life is back to normal here. Here we got Mas Palomas. You guys, I definitely gotta say that this beach here, Playa de Inglés, the water, the waves, the sand, is like, quite frankly, a lot better than right in Malaga and Fuenjirola and Benalmadena. The beach is just nicer here. Now, not that the beaches aren't nice on the southern coast of El Sol. You can find them. You just gotta go outside of Malaga area. But right here, right in the city of Mas Palomas, this is a phenomenal beach. It's, it's really good. And the water just looks beautiful. I would definitely love to go boogie boarding right now. But we're gonna skip the swimming today. So. Let's continue along. We're in like a little market here, you guys, and no shortage of consumerism. Hola. Hola. ¿Qué tal? There's no shortage of consumerism, you guys. Get a massage. Masaje, masaje, here. <laughs> it looks like a nail salon, but that also offers massages. <laughs> masaje, estoy bien, gracias. <laughs> okay, look at the food prices here. $6.50, $3.80. Probably not the best food, you guys, but hey, when you're at the beach all day and downing beers. One of those sandwiches would definitely hit the spot. And you guys, as far as hotels go, there's literally endless options with every level of quality you can imagine from little hostels to pensions to five-star resorts and so if you're on a budget you can do it and if you want to break the bank you can do it now keep in mind obviously the high season actually probably right now are going to be a little more expensive including the weekends during the week in the low season you're going to be able to find deals one of the pros of the canary islands is that they are quite affordable once you get here and you would think that being an island, it would be a little bit more expensive because everything has to be imported. You know, think of Hawaii, 
Hawaii is ridiculously expensive. But here in the Canary Islands, in general, it's cheaper than the peninsula in some regards. So one last view of the dunes there in the distance, Playa Inglés, the English beach, and the rest of Mas Palomas before we head inland, go up into the mountains and search for a different climate. One of, I think, seven microclimates here on the Canary Islands. So once you leave the beach area, it's basically just all residential housing, hotels, apartments, places like this. And with lots of pools, but nothing really interesting more to show from Mas Palomas because we already saw the best parts of the city. But this is where uh, all of you guys will be staying if you do come here on vacation. Tons of options for lodging. So that was a tour of Las Mas Palomas, the tourist area, the beachfront, the sand dunes, and talking to some people. I know you guys like seeing what's going on here in these beautiful parts of Spain and whatnot. So I'll see you guys in the next video from a different region, a mountainous region, and a small village. Cheers. This is where I go.